And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Ezreal. Going to be our next tier one deck that we're going to be playing. It's another one of the most popular decks right now, and it's for good reason. It's really, really strong. Um, it has uh, some good interaction, right? Like you have lots of really good removal. So that's, that's a good thing to have. You have champions that end the game pretty quickly with Draven and Ezreal. Um, and then you also have an awesome top end with Captain Farron also being able to end games pretty quickly. You can you can have aggressive starts with like your House Spider and your Champions and your Arachnoid Sentry and stuff. So you can have um, fast start, you have good interaction, and you have a great late game. So that's kind of about all you want from a deck. Plus you get to play three Tribeam and Probulators, one of my favorite cards. You know how you get to get the... Um, you know, the random followers in play. Sometimes you can get some really great cards with this. Going with the full three copies of Tribeam and Probulator. So just a real strong deck. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. So what we're doing today, of course, we're playing our tier one decks. We got this. Um, we had the Fearsome deck, which I was not really impressed with, and talked about how um, Vengeance uh, is a card the deck needs more than Harrowing. Um, and then we're going to be playing Gohard and Soraka Tom Kench after this. Start with that. What are we playing against? Just Leona. So probably a, probably a dragon deck with the Demacia, or it could just be all invoke with just like single combat or concerted strike. Um, this is odd. I like all of these cards for this kind of matchup, but... Eh, that's okay. I guess it's not the fastest, but I, we don't need to be the fastest either. So let's just keep all the cards that I like. I think I'm going to be happy to have a Captain Farron when it comes to turn 8. Um, we got Draven on 3. Which you don't do much better than that. The Tribune and Propulator is a great card to keep in hand. Okay, not using single combat. That's what it looks like they had. I know I can play the Trump one, but I'm going to just keep the uh, three mana cards going with the Tribeam and Probulator. Because I probably want to play Ezreal this next turn. I guess I could just simply open attack. It's a good attack. Yeah, we could do that. We'll see. Maybe I'm supposed to Mystic Shot that 3-2. Gonna get the Mystic Shot out of hand, so I so I have, you know, only nine cards, not ten, and now I can have like a few different things that can uh, kill this, the warrior. That's all right. Don't have room for a spinning axe. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. I wasn't really setting up um, guillotine, honestly. I, I was thinking about doing like the the um... <clears throat> so I wanted to do that because then I was thinking like they attack, I challenge, I do I do the whirling death. Um, that's what I was kind of thinking, and then maybe if they use something in, in response, then I would go with the guillotine if I needed to. One shot, all skill. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Kind 
out of cards in hand. It's Draven time. I wanna see how big I can get this Tribeam and Probably later. So that's six. You're usually getting to like eight. I think eight's a great number to have. So we know their next dragon or celestial card is going to cost two less. So they may play some kind of celestial card that doesn't cost very much mana at all. Yeah, I have too many cards in hand. We have to like discard a couple, like get rid of some of these spinning axes or something. If if I want to play Captain Farron. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Watch and learn. All right, gonna just attack. No mercy for heretics. Protect her, shield me. Need the board space. I'll be just fine. Yep, yeah, gonna try to yes, play a bunch of guillotines. I wonder like what number I should I should target this improbulator for. Like should I target it for eight? For seven? For nine? You guys should target it for eight. What once was two now is one. There are a ton of great eights. It's maybe better to kill the elusive. Yeah, it's probably better to kill the elusive. All right, let's get an eight. Maybe get like a Leviathan, Tiana. Terror of the Tides. That one's not very good. Ezreal's at 5 out of 6. I could Ravis flock the Scryer. Um, but do I want to keep Ravenous flock for this Destroyer? It doesn't really seem like I'm going to be able to get rid of the Spell Shield anyway. I think we want leveled up Ezreal. Okay, we got leveled up Ezreal. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. I'll break the siege. Do they just grab Fallen Comet? Wow, they just grabbed Fallen Comet. Boo. It's a little strange. So now I can just block and kill that thing. So I'm not drawing. I guess I have 10 cards in hand, so I'm not drawing a card unless they attack. Yeah, you know, I want them to attack. Draven strikes, it creates a spinning axe, and I don't really want a spinning axe, actually. Perfect. Let's see. I need to get cards out of hand. But I want to play Chump Lump because I want the Mushroom Clouds. But I also need cards out of hand. I guess I'll just go with the Ezreal first. Yeah, I'd rather have, I'd rather play like the Chump Womp first and get like all the Mushroom Clouds and stuff in hand first and then play Ezreal and then dump all the spells. But I think with how our hand is, I think I kind of have to play the Ezreal first. History is in each stone and star. They missed the Allegiance, so they probably have another single combat on top. Let's do this. 
I don't really. Know. I basically just cast that to get a card out of my hand. I was planning on going Chump Womp, but. I guess I'm going to want to play this Mystic Shot against them. I'm going to wait on the axes. I don't need to play them right away. But they do get cards out of hand. It's one less damage if I target the Mountain Scryer. Five damage. No. No attacking for you. Okay, they're at 10. Cool. And we should be able to finish this out, but you know, we'll have to see. They've played two star shaping so far. We know they have a Demacia card that they drew with the uh, mountain scryer so we can we can definitely assume that that demacia card is huh so maybe we should be playing maybe we should be playing decimates instead of that we can assume that demacia card is single combat so we, we can assume they're going to single combat during combat huh. so maybe i should have gone right to attack You know what makes life worse? One shot, all skill. I will protect you. Exercise caution. Oh my gosh, it's judgment. Okay, so I I can do four damage with with one decimate. So that means I need to do another five damage with these other cards. Let's. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Perfect. You think Judgment's the most underrated card in the game? I'm not there. It's it's good, but I don't think it's the most underrated card. No way. Okay. <laughs> good thing. Uh, good thing Ezreal is pretty crazy. I was, yeah, I was very surprised by that judgment. I was not expecting that judgment at all. I could have, yeah, that was, that was a surprise. Gucci, if you want more BTT EV emotes, you have to just link the emote that you want here in chat. Let me know, and then I can, I will uh, click on it and add it. So you have to link it here in chat. All right, hand's not the best against Misfortune Quinn. Okay, that Mystic Shot helps. I'll shoot the wings off a build wasp. In range. Right, 
we'll play blockers. Or attackers, I guess. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Yeah, really not that good. It's Draven time. So I'd rather play the Sump Dredger. <clears throat> it's a better blocker. But I wanted to play the Spinning Axe first to be able to discard the Spinning Axe for the Sump Dredger. And they probably they probably have sharp sight. Like I'm I'm sure they have protection for the misfortune. In hand. Oh. Got axes, need victims. Let me just do this. They're gonna mystic shot misfortune. They use like sharp sight or something, then I go thermogenic right, beam. Oh shot. man, that is too good of a static shock though. Then they could have Rangers resolve. I can't play some treasure because some treasure with five mana, I can't have static shock and then one damage thermogenic beam. I can't kill this misfortune. So here we're going to have static shock plus three damage thermogenic beam. So that's a little bit better because I'm going to try, you know, we tried with the, that. We're going to try with this. Ugh. So I do have guillotine now. I'm not sure if this is too greedy, not blocking with I've got us covered. Draven. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, no, 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 I blocked the wrong thing. I meant to block the 3 2. I meant to block the 3 2 and turn them both into one health. I blocked the wrong thing. Put on me mask and secure me tail. Stop the day. Ugh, so now this thing's a 3-4. You know, just whenever I was dragging it over, I just dragged it over incorrectly. Their pride will cost them. I probably should have just had Draven block the 3-2. Just kill that. Could be dead here. They still have six mana. I don't have oh mana to play anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably dead here. I probably like. I really wish I would just play this whole game over. Yes, yeah, so they just they just have rally. Cause they, they just need to play like any unit and I died. But any unit or a rally. That's both. That's the, probably not a game that I should have lost, to be honest. Yeah, I played into their cards. I'm gonna keep House Spider, Mystic Shot. I'm gonna keep those. So they're playing Elites. I think Mystic Shot's gonna be important against the uh, um, Battlesmith. New recruit reporting in. Um, charge? 
I'm passing here. I'm not playing House Spider. Because of Battlesmith. I can't play House Spider, then they play Battlesmith, and, you know, then that's, that's quite bad for me. So we'll just pass. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. All right, so one sharp sight down. So hoping they don't have another one that can block Ezreal. But first, I'm going to kill this before they get the the pluses. Firing. Safeguard our citizens. I don't miss. I'm gonna play the house spider. Could have played Draven, had a free attack with Draven. But then you were looking at Draven blocking these things on the way back. Uh, didn't think her big brother would be so big. Don't even think about it. Or maybe you have too many chump lumps in hand. Show them a nice rummage would be Really key. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Not a rummage, but a thermogenic beam can take down Garen. Hush. Whoa, that's not a card I was expecting from them at all. I'm expecting like single combat. Not hush. Yeah, I think Garen is Lux's big brother, yes. I'm pretty sure. Or, no? I thought they were... Are they not? Are they not brother or sister? I thought they were related. The finest Demossian steel. They won't steal like a yodel in uniform. Hold the line! Okay, they are? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Demossia will prevail. I need a rummage. Yeah. Now we can get some real cards. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. All right, second Battlesmith down. In a long path to get here. I don't mean mask. I think I go down to four. I don't think this three two block in either of these is very good. That was a well timed Cythria, though. I guess, I guess we just get Draven and, and Chumplum. We're gonna have a lot of Dravens, a lot of Chumplums. Watch and learn. Demacian steel protects me. Time for the money makers. All right, so you leveled up, Draven. The expansion drops next week. Yeah, the new expansion is going to be coming down. Uh, it will be live on Wednesday. So today's the 13th. It'll be live on the 16th. Coming up. We're almost there. Oh, I should have blocked with a 2-2. Two -two. Whoa! I guess they didn't have very, uh, very good cards in hand left. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Good job, Draven. And her. So 
she got exiled to Rivendale, and she's got a broken sword that the elves need to fix with their runes. So then she can become the King of Gondor again. I think that's the story of Riven. It's something like that. Okay, let's see. Leona Aurelian Sold is going to be our next deck. I like Captain Farron. I like, I like these cards. These cards are all good. Yeah, I'll just keep them. Perfect. I need to draw a three mana card, which I didn't think would be that difficult, but I wanted to play it, get a three mana card so that I could play the three. So on turn three, I could play the three mana card and then have three mana thermo, thermogenic beam. That was part of my plan. Eh. They're kind of not doing anything, though. I suppose I could have done that and not taken all that damage. But whatevs. Bless the people and fear the heretics. I don't know. Could be a waste of a paralyzing bite, but I use a little bit of mana. Control all that her warmth touches. So I want to play Ezreal and then Thermogenic Beam on five. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. The thing that I'm worried about is that then they can have single combat to kill my Ezreal. Of course, they could use like a sharp sight and keep their thing alive. Okay, nope. So this could be sharp sight here. Watch and learn. Radiant Garden's not that big a deal. They probably attack, right? If I pass, they did not attack. Well then. One shot, all skill. That was a good, that was a really good pass by them. Hello, Rook Terra. Let's rock. 11 mana, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. them creating those random I don't want them creating just an, you know another random celestial card at the beginning of the turn So good. Excuse you. Light. There's only one true light. 
Hopefully no more Aurelian Souls. We do know that they have that, you know, expensive Celestial card. That's one of their cards. Okay. No. Not another Aurelian Soul. The heavens diminish without my attention. <sighs> Not another Aurelian Soul. Oh yeah, you're at seven. <laughs> Check me out. Time for a true display of skill. One shot, all skill. Basically doing this to create the mystic shot to be able to take down the spell shield. I kinda need to get rid of that spell shield. I can use one Tribune probably later to get rid of it. My, how they stare. Well, I kind of need to stun that thing. I know it would have been nice to do the Aurelian Soul, but... Do I try killing... Do I kill the Scourge or the Aurelian Soul? What well, kind of like followers cost 10 mana anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Do I does it get celestial cards? Cuz I could make it at like 11. Really Soul is not a follower. Plaza Guardian. This is unlikely to work. Hey, that worked. Virtue guides me. Stay back. So you're telling me they could have just Pale Cascade and saved their Scourge and they didn't do that? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I can just block this thing. I don't care. Cards left. No more talk. It's gonna be hard to kill them with these Radiant Guardians with the Nexus healing. I think they got this one now. Oh, I had nine cards in hand. I could have could have got that, but oh well. Yeah, what is the, was there eleven? I could have done eleven. I, I, that's something that I guess whenever you play Tribune and Probulator, you should be really familiar with that. Um, looks like the, the ten, 10 mana is pretty bad with, yeah, Scuttlegeist and, and Plaza Guardian and things like that. Ten mana doesn't seem worth it. I guess I should, I should look. Eight has a lot of good things. Eight's like the best. I guess nine, you have Ledros and Bright Steel Formation and the Dreadway. Those are all good. Can you get Celestials with that? Because, yeah, oh yeah, you have Arbiter of the Peak, Scuttle Guys. Okay, so there's nothing at 11. So I, I could have done 11, but there's nothing at 11. Does anyone know? Can, can you actually hit Celestials? Nope. 
No, you can't. A lot of bad eights. I guess eights, eights worse than I thought. You know, most everything has like play abilities at eight. You have three really good eights with um, Farron, Leviathan, Tiana, Usgar, the Ancient's also a good eight. I guess Challenger regen. Half of the nines are really good though. I think nine's perfect. Like nine has Bright Steel Formation, Ledros, and Dreadway. Those are all great. The other three aren't very good. Like Veraza, Swiftfoot, and Cadrogen aren't aren't good. So you have three great and three meh for the nine. Yeah, they were keeping this hand. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, definitely like house fighters in this matchup where they go wide. Chump bump's a great draw for the rummage. Gonna take the trade. Doubt I'm gonna ravenous block that thing. The party has arrived. I think they're playing stuff before combat. I don't think they're just gonna go right to right to attacks. Okay, never mind. I know I could have dealt one damage to the, the Draven and set up a Ravenous block with it. Oh wait, I I honestly kind of feel like I need this for Jinx. Like Jinx is the thing that's really important. I can, you know, block Draven for a little bit. Man, so many Poros. Love to find another Static Shock. That's like my best card to draw right now. I'll just pass. I s save all that spell mana anyway. Don't need to cast it right there. No, play effects do not work with Tribeam, no, because you're not... Playing only works when you play the card from hand. So, um... Summon effects work, though, because putting it into play means that you're summoning it. But no, play effects do not work. Alright, so I can go Sentry, Stun, Flock... And still, with the Thermogenic Beam, still be able to kill a Jinx. Well, I mean, so, so like, Captain Farron is a summon, so you still get... Captain Farron is a summon, right? So, like, you still get the... Yeah, so you get three Decimates with Captain Farron. You would have... You should try blinking Um... Uh... With Leviathan, you don't get a Swain, but, you know, you, Leviathan just does the round start three damage every turn, and so it's still really good in that respect. So that's five. It feels like we've taken just tons of damage because we've gotten hit so many times, but everything that's hit us has only dealt one damage. So even though we've gotten hit six times, we've only taken one damage each time. Loved Static Shock. I'll cast that while they're attacking. I don't need to, because like if I play Static Shock right now, then they just freeze up their board, so they just play other things. There's not really a reason to do that. 
Um, I don't want to play Ezreal before it's leveled up, though. I don't want to get excited to kill my Ezreal. Um, but I guess I can wait on that till I play Ezreal and then rummage. Didn't need to rummage immediately. So we've drawn two of the five puff caps. There's three more in the deck. Check me out. I thought you'd never ask. What's the worst that could happen? So they're discarding all four of those cards. Yeah, that makes sense. Those cards weren't so good. Time for the main event. Captain Farron. I want to Static Shock the Daring Poro. The people are my strength. Where'd you get your title? Cool. We can do a damage to this crowd favorite to help out uh, Noxian Guillotine. No free Mystic Shot for me. But that's not a get excited that was going upstairs. We are doing it. Uh... Just you and me, fish bones. <laughs> I'll use the beam instead of the, the mystic shot. I'm not sure about that though. <laughs> The main question is, do I use both? Do I just use both guillotines immediately, or do I save a guillotine? I guess I got a wor I can use a whirling death, so we could go. We can do a whirling death to take down the jinx. I'll tease the Mystic Shot then. So I don't even really. Why do I? Why do I even play that? They're. I just passed because they. They have to play the Super Mega Death Rocket. Why would I play that first? No reason. No reason at all. You get to kill the 4 1. It's worth it. For me to just attack it with everything, though. Maybe that's like the other get excited. So it was something they didn't play, or it could have been, um, you know, rummage or the, <laughs> the zero mana discard makes some poros. All right, so that was our Draven Ezreal deck. Uh, lost to a couple of decks that went uh, too big for us, um, but overall, I think this deck's really good. And and I don't think, especially the, my first loss, I didn't sequence. 
perfectly. I guess the first one was against the um, the scouts, and I didn't sequence the best in that game. Um, a lot of decisions I made ended up uh, costing me, and, and I think so. I think that could have been a win. So maybe we could have gotten a four-one with different decisions with that one. The Aurelian Soul one was just really difficult to beat. It's it's difficult to beat. Um, you know, ramping into. Uh, you know, having Eclipse Dragon ramp into a really in soul, and then you deal with that one, then they get another really in soul. Then you just have to be able to race them basically, because you can't you can't win a long game against that. So you have to be able to race them. But then they had you know the multiple Radiant Guardians and all the fight spells with the Radiant Guardians, and that's really hard to race. So that didn't work out for us. Uh, but we had a lot of games that did work out for us, and I think this deck is quite strong and definitely really like Tribeam and Probulator. Learn some stuff. Tribeam and Probulator, you don't want to get up to 10. You want to have it like at the 8, 9. Um, that's really the sweet spot. Seven's pretty good too. I think that's really where you want to be with Tribeam and Probulator. There's nothing on 11 or 12 or anything like that. Um, but, you know, good, good uh, things to learn there. All right, but that's Draven Ezreal, our second deck here on Rank Up Sunday. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.